Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Calculated, the Calculator Roguelike. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And we're just going to dive right into it. So, I played this a little bit the other day, and um, it's a calculator roguelike. You have to try to get to certain numbers um, using buttons on the calculator, but you can only use them so many times, and you have to buy more as you go along, so it's kind of interesting. Um, but there's different kinds of calculators that they have. We played on the normal calculator, and um, kind of curious some of these other ones that are here. I think I understand a little bit more about uh, what these what these would do. Um, I don't know what the steel calculator is. Uh, it seems to be the same as the regular one, but um, uh, oh, it has. I guess it does have a bomb destroy selected button. Interesting. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious to try out the engineering calculator. It looks like this is going to be a little bit different. Um, we'll just go ahead and play on standard difficulty because, well, we've never done this before, so let's uh, let's see what we've got here. Okay, so from the first game, I remember. Okay, this adds five to the beginning of the number, so we have ninety. This would make it five hundred and ninety. And the ones that are like X with a number on the right, this puts the number on the right side of it, so this would add, be like 901. Um, got regular division. We don't have any regular numbers, so we can't do... Uh, the first one, the first game was fairly straightforward, because you can just add, multiply, divide, and you have most of the numbers, and you can buy more of those. Um, getting to 8. Uh, is there any way to... What does 10 do? I can't press it. Okay, fair enough. Um, divide one number by another. Um, converts the current number to zero. <laughs> so that would... I guess that would make it a very easy start. And then we could append 8 um, to get the number. We could also divide by 10. We can't subtract 1, so that's... Reverse is the current number, that would give us 9. I'm gonna try this. So if we take our current number to 0, and then we... Oh, this will be 80. Oh, okay. So that will not work. Um, we could then divide by n. There we go. Okay. So not, not too hard to start, but we're gonna run out of buttons quickly. Can we buy regular numbers? Yes, okay. So maybe... Hmm. So we'll buy our 3 and our 9. Be cool if these were uh, a little more... Can we... Doesn't look like there's a way to move the numbers. Um... Buy the minus as well. And we'll save our money. Okay. <laughs> So we have to get to 86. It's really hard without... Um, we only have division and modulus as our operators. And we can really only do this by tens. Um, hmm. Let's see. If we put an 8 in front of it, we'd have 823, and if we divide by 10, that would give us 82. Um, that would not be quite quite where we need to be. We could, of course, um, take the number to 0 again, although that, that trick is going to run out fairly quickly. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to do something like hard to think about this without any kind of multiplication or addition. Um, then you can multiply by 4 and then subtract a little bit, or just add like uh, 63. Um, okay, so we can divide by... 9, or 3, or 10. So... Um, 
eight times nine is seventy-two. So if we could get to seven hundred and twenty plus fifty-four, seven hundred seventy-four. <laughs> um, we don't really have a way to add sevens on there, though. We can add a seven to the right side. Um, we have two different. Uh, oh, that's a one, not a seven. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking if we do eight, so that's 823, then somehow we've got to add. Forty to be able to do um, divide by ten. This is tough, very tough, <laughs> very different game. Reverses the current number. 32, I don't know if that puts us in a better position or not. N6 to the beginning of the number, 623. Divide by 3, we can like 240 and 18, 258. Do you have any way to get to that? No, not not an obvious one anyways. I think the trick here is figuring out sort of like a system for manipulating uh, the numbers with just these things. I think there's a mechanic like it's expecting you to kind of figure out or to know to be able to work with just within this set of numbers to get to anything. I mean, I, I think I can get to 86 by using this button. We zero it out, we append 6, and then we append 8, and we divide by 10. But I feel like, um, mathematically, like learning how to manipulate it, um, Let's try that. So, okay, let's see. So this will give us 60. And this will give us 86, 80, 860. And we divide by 10. Okay. This trick is gonna, <laughs> gonna run out fairly quickly. Um, already got some of those. I will absolutely take the plus. I'll take the five. Um, you roll this. I'm tempted to try to get all the numbers. Um, six and seven. Let's take those. Ah, okay. This one isn't too bad, because we can just add 10. I would love to have more of this. <laughs> Be able to zero. Um, to zero it out. Um, we have a six. Do we have the we have the nine? Mm. Let's re-roll this. Um, give us the six and the nine again. That's mm. what does this do? Cuts first digit of needed number. I still don't know what this one does from the last one. Um, this converts all ones into number to fives. See, so I wonder if buying this will give us two more, or if it just gives us none. Let's see. Your offering is an option, so I'm assuming we get more. Okay. Um, 
Let's re-roll. Yeah, we'll take the two. I think this zero means like you can't. I think the glass, like ones like this, I think you only get to use them once. And I don't think there's any way to add to them. And if you find one that you can add to and you have it, I don't think you can. Let's save our money. Let's see, see what we can do with this. We have to get to 29, okay. Um, we have a two append functionality. But not on the right side, okay. We have minus, okay. I wish there was a way to sort these a little bit. So we can append 4 to the left, it would give us 46. We need to go down 17? Minus? We don't have a 1. Okay, if we went to 66, and we've got to get down to 30 minus 1, so that's 36 minus, uh, not, or plus another one, 37. Can we subtract 37? Yes, we could. Okay, so we do 66 minus 37. Okay, so we have 66. Now we minus 37. Okay. Yeah, this is tougher without having ready access to a supply of numbers. We don't have four, so I think I will buy the four. These are a little pricey. Okay. This could also be useful, although it's only one shot. Um, we have we have a six. That's an expensive six. I think we re-roll. <coughs> Excuse me. I think, um... We take the three. This button turned out to be really powerful um, before. Where it can either add 10 or it seems like it drops it down to whatever the number is. At least that's what happened. Um, I dropped it down to one one time when I needed a one. Um, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do every time, but it's kind of neat. It's a cheap six. And we have the 4x. Hmm. Let's take the 6. Ah, uh, do we want to do this? Or just save our money? I don't know what happens if you get stuck. I guess you just have to restart. Um, Add 10 if you need more than 10 points to victory. And I wish the rest of it was rema and remaining if not. It seems like it should stay the same, but that's not what it does. Um, I'll take the 6, it's cheap, and then we'll go. You don't see some buttons. What? <laughs> uh... Okay, but this one's this one's not too bad. We can just subtract seven. Does that mean I can't push the button, or it's just gone? I oh, it looks like it's covered, like it's marked out, but not all of them are. Huh? I wonder if they are usable, and you just have to. That, it should really tell you that that can happen. Um, <laughs> minus, uh, we need 51, we have 58, we can just subtract 7. Wow, okay. <laughs> that, that was, um, not, not fair. <laughs> I'd really like some more mathematical operators, like plus and minus. I guess that makes it a little too easy.
Um, we will... We'll take the four. And we'll reroll. Um, let's reroll again. Okay, um, eight is expensive. But we don't have an eight. So we'll take that. And we don't have multiply, do we? No, we'll take that. I think I will take this. Okay. We need 11. Okay. Um. <laughs> so we could just add 8, <laughs> which we have. Um. Let's do that. Now we have no plus and no minus. Hmm. Do we have... We'll take the 7. And I don't think we need a 6. It's giving us a lot of these. Um, we'll take the 8. So we don't have one of those. Rerolls the number. Hmm. X goes to 25. X goes to the... finds the closest prime. They're not giving us a lot to work with. I think we'll just save our money. 20. You need one. Um... subtract <laughs> um, yeah okay this is yeah, it's getting challenging we can do modulus if we did um, dividing the existing number by select number we could do modulus 19 <laughs> that would give us one um, if we divide by 20, that would also be 1. Do we have a 0? We could divide by 10 and divide by 2. That seems wasteful, but... Um, okay, let's divide by 10. And then divide by two. And there we go. Zero. Uh, zero is so useful, we'll take it. Um, we have so many sixes. Hence three to the beginning of a number. We have those. That's cheap. We'll take it. Three roll. We have sixes and we have seven. We're all five to sixes. Add one to the current number. X squared, that could be so useful. Destroy selected button and charge random button. Or creates random button. Is it just random? 
What does this do? Reverses the current number. That's right, we have that. This is far more, far more challenging. Um, Yeah, it's really stingy with the mathematical operators, like, it doesn't want to give you plus and minus. Or multiply or divide. Which is going to be a problem soon, because we're not going to be able to do any math. <laughs> um, let's just save it. Let's just save it. You need 92, so if we could just add 4, <laughs> that would be so simple. Oh boy, uh, we can't add, so we can't add or subtract. So this is going to be very convoluted getting to 92 from 88. Um, we have multiply, but we can't, it's not going to do fractional stuff. There's no decimal point. Um, We can append numbers to the right and the left, and we can mod. And a, num a 9 to the... We can, wait, we can flip these numbers. So wait, what does this do? Reverse the current number. <laughs> so that does nothing. <laughs> 88 becomes 88. It swaps the current number with the required one. That would give us 92. We have to get to 88. Divide by 10 twice, so that would give us 0, and then we could append 9 and append 2, thing. Okay, so divide by 10, that'll give us 8 or 9, I'm not sure which way it's going to round on that, okay. Divide by 10. That should give us zero. Then we append nine. And we append two. Okay. I will absolutely buy a plus. <laughs> I will absolutely buy... I'll buy the six, I'll buy the one. Can I get two of these for six bucks? Because that might be useful. Um, add the number of money to the number. We have a six, we have four sixes, that's pretty well. More mod operators. I'll take it because we're gonna run out of <laughs> We're gonna run out of mon or run out of operators here fairly quickly. Um, we have a five. We take five. I think without the mathematical operators, yeah, we only have plus a couple divides and mod. We'll take 4x, add 4 to the left. Uh, we've got a couple of them already. I I don't like uh, elements like this, like re-roll the required number, because it can just make things worse. Um, but instead of throwing the five dollars away on a re-roll, we'll do that because we couldn't use the we couldn't buy anything. 
Yeah, this would be so easy with like, if we had like a minus, we could flip the number and be like 59 and then subtract uh, three. <laughs> uh, but we don't have a minus. Okay, so we could mod, we do mod 10. Okay, so wait, actually that gives me an idea. So we flip this, that gives us 59. We do mod 10, that should give us 50. No, that should give us five. And then, um, could we stick on six? Okay, okay, wait. Um, if we did uh, mod nine, no, no. We flip the numbers, so we have 59. We mod 10, that gives us 5. We append 6, and then we flip the numbers again. <laughs> Would this be easier if it was if we were trying to get to 95? No. Uh, maybe. Because we could mod 10, append, and swap. <coughs> um, excuse me. Let's see. I think we wrote, we reversed the numbers. I, I've never tried this, but I think that gives us 59. And then... We mod 10, which gives us 50. D. We reverse. Uh, yeah, the order of operations here is really important, right? So, like, I was thinking we want to end up with 65. So, if we flip this and we mod 10, we should get 5. No, we'll end up with 9. If we do mod 10 right now, we should end up with 5. Yeah, 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 because 5 is the remainder. We'd have 9, remainder 5. So if we do mod 10, we'd end up with 5. We stick a 6 on the side, and then we flip it. So it's 56 instead of 65, I think. I'll find out. Um, okay, so let's mod by 10. That should be 5. And then we append six. And then we flip. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm starting to see how we could do um, how we could do some stuff with this. There's no way to buy more of these tens, which is so useful. Um, Twenty-four. Um, I think we definitely buy the plus. Absolutely buy the plus. Um, we've got some of these. Reroll. Cool. We have three. Do we have five? We have five. We buy the minus and the multiply. Yeah, because that's eleven. Um, yeah, we'll get the minus. And we'll get the fly. Well, let's do it. You can't use buttons 8 and append 5. Okay. Append 5 would be... Is it append 5? What do you call these? 1 up. 2 up. Okay. Okay, um, I mean, well, the straightforward answer is add, uh, 69? Yeah, nice. <laughs> I think the straightforward answer is just add 69. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, it's so much easier with add. <laughs> if you have a bank of numbers and add, it just makes it so much easier. Um, we will definitely take the two. We will definitely take the zero. Oh, got all zeros. Do we have a pen four? We got a couple of those. Such a cheap multiply. <laughs> Take the zero. Reroll. Gotta buy the minus while we have an opportunity for it. And we'll buy. We want to pen three. I'll take the eight. Okay. Uh, we need to, uh, subtract. Five? Can we just do that straight up? Minus five? Yeah, having the numbers and the, <laughs> the arithmetic operators makes it a lot easier. Um, yeah, six. We will take the append six. I don't think I can buy this because we have... I'm curious to try this again at some point. This is actually x squared. Finds the closest prime. Hmm. Reroll. I hate rerolling so much. Um... I think we'll take the seven and the, oh no we won't. Um, I'll take the division operator. And I don't know what this does. I'll save it. Gotta get to 79, okay. So add 32. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I should be using some of the other solutions so we don't just run out of the easy ones. Um, we could reverse and add five. Again, that's addition. Be nice to preserve the add. Although that may just be the that may just be the way to go. Just add 32. We have all the numbers for it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Um It's just a random button. <laughs> the nine sheep will take it. The random charge is 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 our calculator full. <laughs> we can't have any more. Um, okay. In that case, um, let's re roll this. We will take the uh, division. We'll take the cheap one. I don't think we can add any other buttons, it sounds like. Yeah, so we're stuck. Um, we roll, we have seven. Uh, 
No, we can't get this the charge button anymore either. Um We have some force, we have nines, yeah. Reverse is the current number. Okay, so we need to add three. <laughs> it's not going to be so easy this time. Um, we could switch the numbers and then subtract three. Make the target 11. We can append four. So if we do mod 10, that'll leave us with one. And then we append four. Okay. And we append four. Done. I think having taken the bomb would have been a good idea to remove some of the unusable numbers. We'll absolutely take the plus. We'll absolutely take the minus, even though it's expensive. I'll take the two. Um. Yeah, I'll take those. You need six. Um, hmm. Okay. We swap the numbers. We mod ten. That leaves us with seven. We subtract one. Or if we switch the targets now. We do mod ten plus three. No, I don't want to use our plus. We'll save that. Um, I'll switch the numbers. We'll mod 10. And then we will subtract 1. Alright. Um, I don't think we can add x squared or... I don't think we can get... Oh, if we use these, they break. Okay, okay. Okay, so we could we could still theoretically add numbers to our, our board if we needed to. Um, or if we wanted to. Um, let's re-roll this. The one looks good. It's expensive. X9. Take. He was cheap. Four is cheap. And we'll just save our money. You need to calculate. You need to calculate large number. Um, that is in fact a large number. Um, plus fifty. So we could append nine for. Interesting that they say append. Append appends things to the beginning, but up appends to the right of the number. <laughs> Interesting naming convention there. Um, okay. So maybe what we do here is we only pin 9 to the right. We pin 9 to the right and then we reverse the number. That would give us 923. And then. Um, we add 50, 923 and 50 would be 973, so we add 48. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay, so pen 9, reverse, add 48. 
Okay. Uh, a nine. Reverse. And then, yeah, 50 would be 973, so 48. So add 48. There we go. That's a cheap five. And I think we were wrong. Absolutely by the minus. I think we buy the divide. And one another zero. And I'll save it. We need 45. Okay. Hit add. We could subtract. We could. Um, neither of those are four or five. So we can't mod our way into that. Could divide. Could multiply. Multiply by two is fifty-six. Is that right? Yeah, fifty-six. Then minus eleven. That could be. That might work. Um. Hmm. We could switch the numbers. Swap them. And then we would need to get to 28 from 45, which would be uh, 12, 17, subtract 17. We could do that, but uh, we, have, we have one seven, we could do that. We have and we can do something crazy like append a four or append a five and then append a four and then mod by ten twice or something. <laughs> um This might actually be a time to do that since we have that and then we could save our math. We could save our, like, our, just the basic subtraction or addition. Or something else. Yeah, because we could have pen 4, pen 5, mod 10, mod 10. Sorry, pen 4, pen 5. No, pen the 5 first, then pen the 4. And then mod 10, mod 10. That would, uh... <laughs> That's one way to get to it. Three rolls of the required number. I don't want to change it. I think that's what I want to do. I want to append five, append four. We mod. Ten. That did not do what I was thinking it was going to do. Oh, I, I meant divide by ten. Divide by ten. Oh, that that was a that was a big mistake. Um. That was a big mistake. We could do it again. 
I wasted two of these numbers. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And then divide by 10, not mod 10. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Not terrible. I mean, we wasted. Um, we should have. We shouldn't have had to use these twice. Uh, okay. Well, it is what it is. Um, I probably regret that very soon. Um, and four to the right. We will take that. And three roll. Another pen four to the right, pen six to the left. I will take those. We need an eight, five, three roll. Um, Take the set. Okay. Okay, this is fairly easy. You could get this with minus five. We switch the numbers and then we minus five. Yeah. And then we minus five. I would love to find another minus or plus. That would that would be that would be clutch. Um, we have two. Well, we have three twos. We don't need to buy another two. Um, let's reroll this. A cheap seven. X four. We have three of those. X two. We have one of those. Just reroll it. <laughs> no help. No help. Six. Yeah, it's another reroll. Yeah, none of this is particularly helpful. Uh, let's go. Next round. Um, we mod 10. We actually mod 10, and that leaves us with 3, and we append 8. Yes. Mod 10 will leave us with 3, <laughs> not divide, not mix these up, and then we get in the 8. Okay? Okay. I will buy another one of those so we can have it. I don't think we need any of these digits. 3x, we got it, reroll. Do we have multiply? We have three multiplies. Multiply isn't helping us. Um, do we have, we have that one. Zero's cheap. We've got some zeros. I'll take this one. We roll. That's cheap. Remember, at all three, we can't take another take another button. We only got two rounds left. This is actually going a lot better than I was expecting it to go. Um, I think we'll just hold up there. We have to get to 95. If we multiply by two, that would be 92. Can't add three, though. Mm 
none of those numbers are... Can we append 9? No. We can append 9 on the right side. I'm now, I'm realizing now that like having the swap button makes these kind of universal. If you have, at least if you have just one number there, you can kind of flip them back and forth. Um, does this add, so wait, adds 10, we need more. And the remaining, if not, so wait, so if I were to multiply by 2, would that add up to 10? That's the remaining. Let's try that. I'm, I'm curious. Let's see, multiply by 2. That should give us 92. And then we'll hit this, and that'll give us space for another button. Please work. Okay, okay, that's how that works. So I guess, like, if the number's below, like, at least it seemed like it subtracted 14 or 15 in the last video when I used it. Um, yeah, so we're, we're done. There we go. All right. Um, cool. Okay, so this is our... the end. <laughs> We will buy the 5x, because that was useful. I don't know if we need another division. Um, we have a 2. We have some 2s. We have some zeros. can't imagine needing more than 4 divides. We have 2 multiplies. We've got... I could see the swap being useful. We roll... A random recharge? <laughs> um... Take us to 25. I think we're in good shape. Um, but there's no sense keeping the money because I think this is the last round. So... Let's... Have. So we can buy two. We can buy one of the sevens. Or we can buy three of the threes. And a four, maybe. Seven, ten, yeah. Or seven's eleven, yeah. Can't see buying the six or the eight. We've got. Got those. We buy the 5x and the recharge. Oh, the recharge is random. We've got plenty of swaps. Yeah, let's do that. Take the 5 and then do we want. I'll take the random recharge. I get two recharges. Cool. You can't use buttons 3. You can't use divide? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's mean. Uh, you can't use th you can't use the three button either. Okay. Um, you can't use divide. Let's random recharge first. Let's see. Gave us a one. Gave us a plus. Okay, plus could be useful. We can also ran we also have randomized. We change the number where you have to get to. Can we assemble 37? Yes. If we mod 10, that takes us to 8. If we subtract 8, that takes us to 0. And then we append 7. And we append three. I think. I think it's that simple. Yeah. Um. 
Mod 10 leaves us with 8. Tract 8 leaves us with 0. Append 7 to the right. And that should leave us with just 7. And then we append 3 to the left, that's 37. Okay. So here goes. Mod 10. 8. Minus. Actually, you know what? Let's not. Uh, you press press right mouse to cancel. You could have just multiplied by zero. Now that I think of it, um, multiply times zero. Could have done that from the beginning. Zero this out, and then we append seven to the right. And we put that in, so that gets rid of the... Are you really going to leave it as 0, 7? I'm worried it's going to make it 3, 0, 7. Okay, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> That's what it should do. Okay. Success. Woo. You want a game with engineering calculator? Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, this game. This game is a lot of fun. Um, I'm not sure what the other... I guess endless mode you just keep, you know, you just keep going until you, uh, you, you run out, I guess. Um, run out of money or you can't solve the problem. I don't know what the um, the steel calculator is. I don't know what the difference with this is. It looks the same, except it, I guess it comes with a bomb. Destroys the selected button, chart, charge random button, or creates a random button with one energy. Yeah, I mean, that seems... maybe... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else would be different about this. I mean, I could think of it being made of steel means it doesn't grow, but I don't know that this is necessarily not a metal calculator either. An old calculator. This looks challenging because these are the buttons that just convert all the numbers to other numbers. <laughs> Increments and decrements. That might be fun to try that one out. All right. Well, I'm going to end the video here. This is a lot of fun. Um, if you're interested in it, it's called Calculate It. It's on Steam. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I might I might come back and try old calculator just to kind of see. This was um, after you play with it a little bit, it makes a lot more sense uh, what what you can do with these numbers. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. Uh, please hit like and subscribe; it really helps out the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.